Hello, this is Ray Main here again with today's Bible reading. Today we're going to start reading in the book of Revelations. Revelations is a book that has uh, given most people, I started to say a lot of people, but it's given most people trouble as far as understanding the book. We have to start from the standpoint that this Bible is a spiritual book for spiritual people and you can only understand it through the Spirit and where people have trouble with the Bible now there's a lot of scriptures that you can just let the Bible interpret itself but Revelations is uh, even more so than the rest of the Bible it is uh, it was written for a day uh, as a type and, and, and shadow. There's so many in this book that it's hard to uh, uh, go over them all. Uh, this book is going to be the hardest one to read and explain. Uh, there's a lot of prophecy in this book. Uh, a lot of people have called this book the uh, revelation of John the first scripture if you're paying attention will take care of that it was a revelation of Jesus Christ that was revealed unto John so that he might uh, write it down it was starts out to the seven principal churches which are in Asia at that time uh, these first parts first three or four chapters here we can take as a as an example they were to those churches they were to those leaders of those churches we can take those as examples of today and I personally have listened to a lot of teachings over the years about a book of the revelations and uh, quite frankly I think a lot of them were wrong uh, but you know a lot of that remains to be seen now, there's a lot of things in this book that uh, uh, you know, I've heard people teach that uh, this all took place back yonder on account of the way this first chapter starts out. But there's a lot of things in this book as we get into it, especially in the middle and latter part of the book. Uh, they're really for today. You know, the Bible talks about both uh, an earlier and a latter rain. Uh, I personally believe that uh, the things that happened to the early church will also happen to this latter church, this latter rain church that we're in today, or that at least is being set up today. So we need to pay attention to this book, and I, I feel uh, totally inadequate to explain this book as it should be. But anyway, we'll start with the first chapter today, and we'll get into it, and... and uh, We'll just see where the Lord leads us, okay? Book of Revelations, chapter 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. See, at that time, at that time, it was just about the time of the persecution. Uh, that took place in Israel by the Romans. A lot of it is written in what people nowadays call code. To the people of that time that uh, could understand what was needing to be said, there was a lot of Christian folks killed in this era that this thing was written in. But it's a revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave to him to give to John who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. See this scripture right here, blessed are they that hear. I'm not talking about those things on the side of your ears and this scripture isn't talking about that either. You know, sometimes you can hear things but you don't hear them. In today's society we have, uh, we have such a tendency uh, to have the radio on, the, uh, the TV on, the, just so much white noise 
uh, at, at one level we're hearing them but we're not taking them in and that's really what it what this is talking about here this h-e-a-r here means that you take them down inside and you let them become a part of you and then the second part and keep in other words obey we've got to we've got to understand what's going on and then walk in that and this here's the start of the letter John to the seven churches which are in Asia grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come and from the seven spirits which are before his throne and from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. John was a prisoner. Patmos was, uh, from what I understand, was uh, a rocky, uh, barren, treeless, island. I can't imagine uh, being uh, he was sentenced to this place. It was a prison place and he was sentenced there by the Romans. By this time John was the uh, last of the disciples. All the rest of them had been killed. Uh, he was the last one and if I understand it right, John was the only one, this John was the only one that actually died of old age uh, the rest of them were martyred, every one of them. He said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I'm Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus and unto Smyrna and unto Pergamos and unto Thyatira and unto Sardis and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, amen, and hath the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. So we see here that in the last verse of this chapter it explains uh, the mysteries of this book. That's the reading for today. Tomorrow we'll begin with the rest of Revelations. God bless.